Hey everyone, welcome back. In this quick video, we will see how to run Apache Kafka on the local machine and without Zookeeper. So we know Kafka is a distributed system. It can support many brokers and many partitions. Then it has to maintain the metadata like who is the leader of a particular partition. So in short, Kafka has to maintain a lot of metadata and to store that metadata, Kafka used to use Zookeeper. So what that means is Apache Kafka and Apache Zookeeper used to be tightly coupled and Kafka needed Zookeeper in order to run. Now in recent releases, Kafka has moved away from the Zookeeper. It no longer needs Zookeeper. So it can now run without Zookeeper. And in this video, we will see how to run Apache Kafka on the local machine without Zookeeper. So how do we start? Well, you can follow the Apache Kafka quick start guide and you can see the step one is to get the Kafka. Now there are a couple of options. One, you can download the Kafka. For that, you will follow the step number one or you can go via the Docker route. So for example, if you download the Kafka, you will download the executable on your local machine. So once you download the Apache Kafka executable, you will follow the step number two, which is to run the Apache Kafka in the Kafka raft or something called K-raft mode. Okay. Now when we run the Apache Kafka in K-raft mode, it does not need Zookeeper. Now, if you have downloaded the executable, then you will follow this section, which is to run Kafka with Kraft using downloaded files. So you will follow this section. Otherwise, if you have not downloaded the executable and you want to use the Docker image, then we need to follow these steps to run Apache Kafka with Kraft. So let's do that. Now, the first thing you see, we need to use this particular Docker image, which is coming from Apache Kafka with version 3.9.0, which is the latest at the time of recording then you run the docker container all right so let's do that because i have the windows machine so i will use docker desktop and you go to the docker desktop okay and then you search for the image so i will search for apache kafka and version 3.9.0 so when we search for this particular image we can see this image is coming from multiple distributors multiple developers we need to use this one which is apache kafka now you can select the particular version from the drop down which is 3.9.0 then you can pull the image or you can choose to run the container based on this image which will automatically pull the image if it does not exist on your system in my case because i have already downloaded the image so what i will do i will go to the images section and in this section you will find all the docker images which are present on your system and you can see i have this image available on my local system which is apache kafka now i can run a container from this particular image and here we will provide the setting so for example what is going to be the container name so let's choose the container name to be kafka demo then you need to bind the port by default it listens on the 9092 port and we need to bind the port from the local machine to the docker container so we will use the same port 9092 all right let's run the container this will now start a new Kafka container, which is a Docker container based on the Kafka image. And as you can see, Kafka server is up. So the container is up. You can see the log message Kafka server started. So now we have a Docker container up and running, which is actually running Kafka without Zookeeper. So once we have the Kafka up and running, how do we use it? We know we have to create the topics, the partitions and everything in order to use something out of Kafka. So when we run the Kafka or when we run any executable as a Docker container, we have to execute the commands in the container itself. All right. That we can achieve using Docker desktop using exec tag, which is essentially same as running Docker exec command. Since the Kafka container is running, we have a running container. So we have been redirected to the shell and there we can run any command related to this docker container so how do we access the kafka executables or scripts in order to create new topics or partitions so let's first check what is available here we can see we have the file system usual docker container file system which is based on linux all right now where do we find the kafka scripts that we have to use so there is this folder opt and in this folder we will see kafka folder and then we will go to the bin directory and here we will find all these scripts which we can use to basically perform different operations 
Now in order to create the topic, we know there is this executable script which is Kafka topics.sh and this script is used to basically create topics or to list topics. So let's try to use this script in order to see if we can connect to the Kafka container which is running on the local machine. All right. So, so now we will create the topic from the command line and for that we need the command. And I have documented the useful commands on this GitHub repository that I will share with this video and you can simply uh, scan this repository. So I'm going to copy the command line and we'll go to the terminal. Let me paste the command and here you can see I am using Kafka topics.sh script. Okay, then we are passing the parameter create then the topic and the name of the topic is going to be my topic then we are providing the bootstrap server which is running on the local host with port 9092 that is the same port that we used when we were running the kafka container then we are also providing the partitions which is three in the sample command let me change it to one for now and replication factor is also going to be one because we have only a single instance running let's hit the command and we see the topic was created how do we verify it well there is another command which can list down all the topics so let's copy this command go to the terminal paste the command and hit enter let me modify the command and there we can see there is one topic that i created which was my topic we can also describe a particular topic for which we will run this particular command which is basically to describe the details of a topic. Let's copy the command, go to the terminal and uh, let me change the path like this. And here we can see the details of a particular topic like the name of the topic, the partition, who is the leader of that partition, how many replicas this topic has, so on and so forth. So we saw how to run Kafka as a Docker container on the local machine, especially the Windows system without Zookeeper. And we also saw how to run the scripts basically from the Docker container to let's say create the topic. All right. Important thing is to identify where the executables exist in the Docker directory, which is basically in this OPT folder. All right. Now that we are able to run the container in the next video, we will see how to work with producers and consumers. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.